Hi, welcome back to Pixel Village and I'm Radha Krishnan. Today, we're going to talk about in-camera light metering. Cameras of all ages, sizes and price bracket has only three major controls. The aperture, the shutter speed and the ISO. It's also known as the exposure triangle. A proper combination of these three allows you to let an X amount of light come into the camera so that the sensor receives and records an image very clearly, which means you need to measure that light. You can measure the light in two ways. One, you can measure the incident light, which is the light which is falling on the subject image, in this case me, for which you can use a, a light meter which of course we will discuss in an upcoming video. The second uh, way is to read the reflected light, the light which is reflected off the subject. That's what a modern camera does. It reads the reflected light from your subject. An in-camera exposure meter reads the reflected light, not the incident light. The catch is the reflected light is not exactly equal to the incident light. A lot depends on the color, the type of material, all that is present in the field or on the subject. There are many different ways using which the camera reads the reflected light. And manufacturers, different manufacturers have given different names to each of those uh, methods. The most complex and the safest one is called the matrix metering or the evaluated metering or the zone metering technique. The most dependable among the three and most useful for most of you is the matrix meter reading. In matrix meter reading, what uh, the camera does it, it splits your, your field into multiple zones and analyze them individually and arrive upon uh, exposure an appropriate exposure by going through uh, a series of calculations. It's very intelligent, it's not very simple. It even compensates for a backlight whenever there are backlights or strong backgrounds or brightly lit backgrounds. The second one is called center weighted reading. The center weighted reading accounts for about 60 to 80 percent of your field. While center weighted reading is perfectly okay for let's say evenly lit situations if there is a strong backlight that meter can get fooled a bit the third one and my favorite is the spot meter you require a little deeper understanding of exposure if you want to use a spot metering method effectively and more creatively however what it does is it picks a very small area at about three to five degrees of your entire field and measures the reflected light only from that area. Now, you can also move that area around. That's another interesting point. It usually associated with the focusing point. So wherever you shift your focusing point to, it, the camera reads even the exposure of that particular point, which means if you want to read the reflected light just from my skin, you can point and bring that focusing square here and read off. Similarly, you can move it around anywhere in the field and read off a particular point of your choice and expose for that. You can use all these three metering patterns with any camera modes that is manual, aperture priority, shutter priority or the program mode. To illustrate what I just said, uh, we shot some images. Uh, let me show them to you. Um, Nikhil, can you uh, bring that computer close to me, please? Okay, thank you. We have two varied uh, situations, just side by side. One has, uh, we were looking out from our terrace um, and we saw this even sky, a busy backdrop, but there are these bright white uh, buildings in the horizon. The second one is the open space uh, on, the, on our floor, which is evenly lit. There's no too much contrast in this picture. And we got our model Aishwarya to pose for us for a couple of pictures. First, let us look at what happened in the evenly lit space. Now this one, the first one is with matrix meter uh, reading. It's evenly lit. There's not too much of a problem in this piece. It's very well exposed. The second one, this is the center weighted uh, reading. Again, very acceptable image, 
no major problems, everything is nice, clean, very acceptable. And the third one is using a spot meter. This again has no major uh, variations in the image. It's very crisp, clean and clear. Uh, so there are, there are no major difference in these three images. Now look at the images shot in the second situation with she against the bright outdoor. Okay, the first image is shot in uh, the matrix meter reading. Looking at it, you can see that the camera understood that the backdrop was very bright. So it compensated uh, for the bright backdrop and it corrected the light which is required to expose our face or the model properly. This one is shot with centivated reading. Centivated reading, like I said, takes an average reading of 60 to 80 percent of your screen. And while doing that, because it's not that intelligent, like the matrix meter reading, it got fooled by the bright buildings on the backdrop and camera underexposed the image. The next one is the professional's favorite, is a spot meter reading. Here we got an accurate skin reading and of course the backdrop went overexposed, but this is the safest way to measure light in this kind of conditions. We shot a few other examples also to demonstrate this point further. From the images that we shared with you, I'm sure you got the concept very clearly. Use it to create the kind of images that you want to create. There is nothing called a correct exposure or an incorrect exposure. There is only a good image and a bad image. If two stops under exposed image is what is giving you the kind of feeling that you want to create and convey, that's your correct exposure or a slightly overexposed image is what is going to convey what you wanted to convey, then that's your right exposure. These modes are available for anyone to use, so use it creatively. Select your favorite mode to create the effect that you would like to achieve. Hope this was useful. If yes, you know the drill. Subscribe, like, share, do all that. And of course, looking forward to interacting with you in the comments column. Bye for now.